Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1, and welcome back to episode 14 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, well, um, you know, I'm just scared <laughs> at this point. <laughs> at this point, I'm just scared. Uh, we've got four purity, three harmony, and pretty much everyone else in the world is ahead of us. And we want the harmony again for the extra 10% science out of some of our cities. Um, unfortunately we weren't able to get that bonus out of Magan. That would have been very, very good to get out of Magan. Uh, but Janali is making use of it, I'm sure. Um, producing a lot of science there, 58 beakers. Magan, 44 beakers, so we're literally getting more science out of Janali right now. And we built up quite an army, and that army is costing us a pretty, pretty penny. Uh, we are at 100 from units right now. 100 energy, uh, per turn. And that's really expensive, so... One thing we might want to think about is grabbing a tech that maybe gives us energy, um, and soon. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab the network here in Tabo, and our worker here finished the road, which is very good. Um, so, it's time to actually build the Magrails. So these are going to cost a lot, but it is going to take a while to build them, so we will have time to work on whatever solution we need. But let's definitely build all these Magrails now. We're researching. Let's go ahead and grab terraforming. Going to be very good because the floatstone quarry is great for energy and the guy in whale is great for energy. So you know what? That actually solves our energy problems. Or will come damn near close. Here, this guy didn't finish his road. Uh, but he will have the opportunity to build this mag rail. Same deal here. Mag rail it is. What's ours is yours. Alright. I'm down for an alliance. As long as that doesn't war me with someone. Covert agent promoted. I'll go the covert ops. By the way, how go the covert ops? All right, so we just killed a Slavic Fed guy in Magan. Good, good, all good. Stealing energy right now. Well, that'll definitely be good. Um, we still have five Xenomass left. We might want to sell that off to somebody who can pay for it. Uh, is there anyone? Maybe you? Can you buy this? No, you don't even have the energy. You know, what I've noticed about most of these AI is they actually oh, have a less science than you? us. Uh, most of them are running negative budgets, so that's not smart. Even We're even doing better than her in science. She just has affinity points because she cheats. They're all cheaters. They're all of them. All of them. Except Kavitha. Except Kavitha. She's got a lot. A lot of science. From the sword. Um, we're gonna sell her her our last Xenomass. Um, unless let me check. Do we need that for any like wonders or something? I don't think we really even have that many unlocked. One thing that could be really good for us energy wise is if we just dip down into auto autonomous systems and grab master control. That's just so good. All that free energy you, you basically get from all your workers. This thing is basically worth like 30, 40 energy per turn. It's really good. Um, but that wouldn't need Xenomass, would it? Not much does. Not much does. In that case, I feel fine giving it away. But Kavitha's scary. You know, Namaste. she's long term though. We have to worry about her a little later. Speak from Let's the sell her our last energy per turn in that case. Seven, pay up. There we go. We're going to need that. Um, as these magrails come up, yeah, it's going to be expensive, especially as these two uh, academies finish. We're needing every little penny we can get. I don't want to start dropping to the negative energy returns. Alright, we'll forgive him. I don't really have anything against you, bud. You're a good guy. Um, we should probably swap off of Janali's research. Just because I believe we can now build the alloy founder here, and that's going to be oh so good. Ayan is now 10 pop, so let's go ahead and build our second trade convoy there. And Tabo will be 10 pop in three turns, so we'll have the opportunity to, opportunity to do that there as well. Um, this paddock is done. Let's go ahead and build the mag rail. Pretty much mag rails are going to be our focus from now on. Only thing that matters right now is getting that extra production bonus everywhere. 
and trying to survive the economic onslaught that it will inevitably cause until all of them are done. Shooter alert. Alright, just a little alien. Causing nobody any harm. Who cares, you know? We're not doing anything wrong. And here we finish the vivarium in Xerxes. Looking good. Uh, and we've had some growth issues here. We could go for the clinic. It's probably not a bad idea. We'll grow at the same time we get that two health. Keep our unhealth down. And here we definitely have to start focusing on Magrails. Let's move this one there. And this guy right here. There we go. These are some good academies. Four science. Wow. We are now getting the 10% science. New. We gotta watch these people's affinity levels. Because they're gonna start going up real quick. You know, honestly, Kava, they, we gotta keep an eye on her. She's getting 250 science per turn. That is insane. And that is horrifying. Uh, let's grab an institute here. You know, or repair facility. Kind of surprised we haven't done that so far. Um, and... Maybe there's somewhere we want to trade. Energy per turn is not a bad idea. Honestly, we could use every little bit we get. And it helps an ally out, so you know what? I'm not even opposed. We need all the energy per turn we can get. Terraforming coming out in one turn. Very exciting. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff, yes. Yes, the world is beautiful and unspoiled, but it is wrong. Correct it at once. All right, all good there. All good in the hood. Now, you know, institute done there. Very good. I'm thinking probably time to go into research focus here. Let's go ahead and do that. 54 science per turn. Not bad. Oh, we have 185 science per turn now. Very good. Um, and while we're at it. Let's grab a site. Nope, a trade route here. We actually have 10 pop here too. Very good. So, what to grab now? I believe civil support is what I wanted to do. It is going to give us a ton of affinity points, uh, get us to 5, maybe 6. Um, and then our hollow matrix here will really help us out a lot. We just need to get our float stone up now ish. I'm glad we have all the patrolling that we do because we're going to be using it. Hollow matrices are probably my favorite, um, my favorite satellite in the game. They're just really cool, and I love them. The, the upper limit is really not floatstone. Sorry, it's it's more like petroleum. Is there? I believe there are three petroleum per satellite. So at that rate, we can build uh, four, not five, but four. So. That just gives you an idea of, like, literally how much oil goes into those guys. They are... They are tough ones. But you know what? It pays off. Because they are, I think, something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hexes in area. And they add 2 culture to all of them. So, you do the math. That is 14 culture a satellite. That's nutty. Let's go ahead and keep grabbing that research. Nah. Nah, buddy, nah. Mm -mm. Not today. I cannot wait for us to grab Magnasanti, because that's really what the Hollow is going to help us do, is rush down to Magnasanti. Corporate agents are good, and... Am I spying on my ally? I'm a dick. I'm a dick! Do I need to? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. Ah, oh, I'm a dick. I feel bad, and I was detected there too. Like, damn, I feel bad. I'm also smiling, but I also feel bad. Go ahead and grab that science, buddy. And you go ahead and grab that science too. Alright, repair facility done in a yawn. Probably high time to swap into research focus here. Ain't nothing better. Uh, we can also do culture focus as soon as we get our... Um, Hollow matrices out, and that's going to be really good. Uh, how's the health in Tabo? Not too good. Let's go ahead and grab a Cyto Nursery. Deal with that. 
And where to send this little guy? Um, we could trade out here for some good energy. A little bit of science too. Uh, I'm not opposed to that. Or we could go ahead and grab four production and four food for Tabo. I actually like the energy. Uh, we have a lot of programs going on right now. And not all of them are going to be super sustainable. Namely, all the Magrails are going to be really expensive until they're all done. Um, let's get this guy going on the Floatstone Quarry, because we do need to have some Floatstone online um, before we get civil support. Let's go ahead and get these guys just building on these Magrails. That right there will finish the route to Janali as soon as these guys are done. And yeah, it means Janali is going to be just a really, really good city. As is, Janali is soon to be bigger than Magan. Magan will, in five turns, be bigger, of course, but they're tied right now. Clinic in Xerxes means the health there is optimized. And let's go ahead and grab the long-term auto plant. All right, worker here, all done with his Magrail. Let's get him down, and Magrail abound. Just keep building, just keep building. All right, first academy down here done. Very good. We have now hit 200 science. Super great. Academies are overpowered. Please nerf. Um, and what to do with these guys? We could probably build a bit of a mag rail around. You know, Juan Le is kind of in the way. But um, if we do hit six affinity, war is not a bad option. I kind of want to just pump culture out my butt, though. So... Because I want to get to Magna Sante. If we can do that, like, it's going to be very hard for the AI to really compete with us. Darwin okay, that's, that's not good. That's not good. That's really bad. All right, very well. What's going on here, lady? All right, bombing the hell out of us. Yep. Yep. That's not good. That's, that's not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, thankfully, the Polystrelia declared war on them as well, because they're our ally. But that's not good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh. Oh, there goes the, um, attacks from Juanle. I had them in position in case we wanted to attack, but looks like they are the ones attacking now. Oh boy, all my men getting exterminated. I hope that's not someone important. Oh, that's Inglorious Eagles. Oh, they're still alive? What the hell? Oh, they're gonna die though. They're gonna go down to Miasma. Oh goodness, I salute you. I salute you! You fought for your country. Oh my goodness, what a legend just died. Clone Echo, I'll keep you alive. Unholy Stalkers, you're just weird. What dicks? What dicks? Like, roll on up to Affinity 8 and then just bow me? Are they higher than that now? 9? Yeah, like, what is this? Where are you getting these points? You have no science. Oh my goodness. Well, an auto plan is done in Bongani, which is good. Um, we're gonna hit 5 there soon, so go ahead and grab the Pharma Lab. Go ahead and blast this here Lancer. Let's see if we can't do some tactic damage that doesn't annihilate our troops. Okay, we can't. Good to know. You know, this is what you get for trying to play like hybrid affinities in this game. Like right now, if I didn't go hybrid into the three harmony, we'd be at six. Probably. Heading into seven or eight right now. Team does not smile all too hot much upon hybrid strategies. You know, what can we do to Wanlei? Can we make it hurt? Only a little bit. Only a little bit is the answer. Well, um, they're just gonna fire back on me. I'm just gonna hold still and let them do what they gotta. Which is unfortunate, but you know, sometimes you have limiting options. 
Jesus Christ. They're gonna tear us up. We're over 200 science now. Um, I don't know if it'll matter. If we lose any of these, any of, our, any of our cities to the PAC swarm, it's just not gonna turn out right. It's gonna be very bad. Uh, we gotta keep firing. None of our tactics were able to intercept because they just targeted the city itself with them all. Uh, I think we just need to keep them in interception. Then again, this battle suit. We can definitely kill that. With our airborne units. Maybe move up. Uh, you know, we could actually get this guy out of the combat and he'd live, so why not? While we're at it, let's go ahead and see how much damage those attack jets do as soon as they're done with the naval glitch. 37, and fire. So it's probably injured enough that they probably can't back up, get back up on land without really hurting, so... I'd say that's good where they are, and holy hell, though. Like, damn. Um, I just feel like they're begging me to attack the Guardian over here. It's so much damage. No, we're not gonna. Oh my goodness. This is so stressful. Just keep building mag rails, buddy. You're gonna be alright. Why? I had peace plans. I had ideas. I had, I had, a, I had a, like a mission. And you just ruined it all. With your freakishly high affinity level. Why do you have the highest affinity in the game? You're not even the best player. It doesn't, it's not fair. Are they, they're shooting Mongani? And they tried to attack it, wow. So they're targeting Xerxes, other than any alternative option really confuses me, I'll be honest. Battlesuit's coming in from the ocean. Don't they get an amphibious attack penalty? Shouldn't they die here? Okay, well, I'm glad for the good old glitch. Yep, we killed it. Jesus, if the AI wasn't horrible at combat, we would be so dead. We would be so unbelievably dead. Uh, Crazed Thorns is just dandy, though. Yeah, we gotta retreat all these guys. We now have expert level rough squad. Oh my goodness, the Eagles sang their swan song. So sad to see him go. What can we reasonably do good damage to? Um, they're gonna, if they're gonna be keep being stupid and keep targeting Xerxes, then I'm gonna hit their melee units. Expert level sinister ones. And keep the firepower on them. I don't really know what's. Well, what should we do here? Probably take out that guardian, but like, oh my goodness. I'm thinking maybe just. Yeah, keep intercepting. Until there are really critical strikes we have to do. Over here, though, this lancer. Just kind of being an annoying dick. Oh god. The guys are so injured. No, they just need to heal. They targeted Mr. Raptor Bug! That is unacceptable. That will not be stood for. Oh my goodness, but their units are too strong. I'm, I'm bailing, buddy. I'm, I'm bailing. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm outie. Like, holy crap. That is horrifying. Alright, let's delete this worker. We don't need him, really. Oh god, why? Why you gotta stress me out? Do we even have the time of running on this episode? Yeah, we do. Alright, sweet. I don't want more men to die. I just, I don't wanna. Okay, build the mag rail. You keep building mag rails. Come on, mag rail. Uh, 
I am stressed out by this whole affair. If Xerxes falls though, not good. Are they targeting again? It looks like it, yep. Bunch of logic that I don't understand. AI logic, my favorite. Okay, so he's just insulting us. Sweet. I, I don't... I mean, we just need affinity levels. If we could get those, we'd be dandy. Can I reasonably kill this guy? Probably. I'd love to kill a military unit. Yeah, I think we probably can with some airstrikes after this last shot. Problem is, they get such a defense bonus. Yeah, it's really insane how much of a defense bonus they get. Okay, yeah, no. I, I thought I was going to like sit there and be able to fire. But nah, they got units that would counterattack. You know, we might want to prioritize these ocean-bound units, because they look like they can put, put on pressure. Then again, we already shot this thing twice, so if we don't kill it, it'll have the XP to kill us. Or to get free heals. So this thing needs to die this turn. Hopefully that kills it. Come on, man. Cut a guy some slack. Thank you, thank you. There you go. Alright. Um, that's kind of crazy that... Like, we could walk into these artillery units and we'd still not kill them. Well, we kind of just need everything to sit real tight. And Janelle finished the alloy foundry, so we can probably swap back to research focus. Oh boy. Well, this is just kind of how long can we live? How long can we live? How goes trade routes everywhere? Xerxes, no trade route. Everywhere else is looking just fine. Um, ba -ba -ba. I can kind of set up a line right here, if need be. Yeah, and then maybe get this guy back here. I want to keep Mr. Raptor Bug alive. He's been nothing but good to me. All right, we finished our cider nursery in Tabo. It's very good. We can probably grab the petrochemical plant here, or maybe go for some marines. I'm gonna do that. Because we need troops. Because the BAC were like, yeah, we're going to be douches again. Yeah. Keep building mag rails, you fools! What made you think you could do that? As long as the PAC keeps targeting the city with their artillery. So dumb! Such a stupid- oh god, no, they, they're they not dumb anymore. They figured it out. Who was that? Who died? Who died? Okay, Clone Echo's still alive, it was some weird don't nerd. Don't argument until the other fella thinks your ideas were his the whole Alright, so Hollow Matrixes are up. Well, they're not up, they're not done, but we can build them now, so that's cool. Uh, you know, we could really use some, some stuff, guys. It's, we need, we need stuff. We need stuff really bad. Uh, oh boy. Well, Bongani finished the Pharma Lab. Very good. Um, let us grab, what should we get? Storm Reactor. It's good for energy. And we need that, so not a bad option. Meanwhile, we need to grab something that's going to get us to affinity level set, like 6 and real quick. Um, Biospheres is probably the best option. Yeah, certainly the best option. Uh, it's good in the long term, and it's giving us 25 points. So, let's go. Meanwhile, we got a veterancy up here, seasoned on one of our attack jets. And killing him is going to be hypercritical. Oh, I just don't want Clone Echo to die. Really badly, I want all our guys to live. Why you gotta be douches? Screw it, you know? If they kill him, they kill him. It's what it is. We 
we gotta kill this guy though. Mm, my goodness. We could keep doing water strikes, that would really take out some of their units. Uh, but we would take such a hit. I'm thinking just keep air intercepting if we can. Alright. We're fine here, I think, for now. Yeah, for now. Uh, maybe we want to move these guys up to Tabo. That's what I'm going to do. Move them up to Tabo. Get him just healing. And these guys all in defense mode. Keep building me some mag rails. Okay. As long as they can't take Xerxes this turn, we should be alright. What are they firing on? The city again? Alright. Nice and stupid. And finally, our attack jets can intercept. And they're gonna kill our gunner here. Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh, they're closing in on Xerxes. Well, we can use this guy to probably weaken out the battle suit. So we could kill it. Uh, none of these ocean units are actually melee units. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Take out the battle suit. <laughs> yeah. Secure that kill. Then no, no, right here, go ahead and get this kill. Hold our ground where we stand. Uh, we actually could probably ram one of these guys. But that looks like time is up, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Will Xerxes be able to hold out? Will we get to Infinity 6? How will the PAC war come to fruition? I have no clue. The second PAC war is upon us, and it looks scary. But until next time, guys, take care.